Welcome, everybody, to RimWorld. We have a couple of priorities to change around today, uh, primarily based on what feedback you sent me yesterday, but more importantly because it's occurred to me I'm kind of doing things in a weird order. So, first things first, many of you pointed out that the reason that the wind turbine was probably not pumping as much water as it used to was because I built the water treatment right behind it. I completely forgot about the fact that it is, at the end of the day, a wind pump, so it does need some room there. Uh, to make up for the fact that we are kind of running out of room with regards to the, the treatment zones, where we've got all this extra stuff, the industrial scale pumps, the deep wells, the blah, 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 blah. I've decided to collect some more room, and it'll also allow our people to move around a little bit faster. The other thing to bear in mind is that we have no steel right now, and that was kind of what I was going to get onto here with regards to doing things in a weird order here. So although we, we do want to obviously build our firearms and whatnot, we don't actually have enough steel to do it. We have zero steel left. We've got 167, but that's going to be used in building the water treatment. In fact, that isn't even enough to rebuild the water treatment. Not that the water treatment, I will admit, is massively useful. It l eliminates the, the very small percent chance to, to get disease or whatever. Um, but I'll be removing that, and, and we'll, we'll try and rebuild that as soon as possible, seeing as, you know, we've already had one. Um, I want to instead focus on ways to get resources. Um, wh what was that? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard that, but something was beeping up. Okay, I think we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Um, I want to get things like deep drills. There's got to be a way to get some resource into the base that doesn't involve strip mining. Because strip mining is going to set us up for failure in regards to shitloads of infestations. Uh, those are always something that we have to we have to worry about. So I think rather than immediately jump on the strip mining wagon, which we definitely could do because we've got a lot of mountains to work with here. We need to find a more long-term solution. Of course, in Royalty, they made it so that strip mining or... Uh, sorry, not strip mining, deep drilling is a bit more... A bit more viable now. Uh, with Grand Penetrating Scan and the deep drilling, obviously we can set ourselves up methods of gaining infinite amounts of resources. From that, you could just ping it and that will generate a new cluster somewhere that we can go and get some resources from. Either that or we've got to rely on nothing but trade stations. Again, I don't think that's necessary. I've gone as even as far to suspend the components job right now because we really just don't have enough resources to do any of this crap. So, hey, fingers crossed this, uh, this is an alright start. This is a much better idea, I think, to... Um, to try and focus on that, because there's not much point going for all the, the other things that we're going for there. The, the the ground wells, what were they called? The um, deep wells, that's it. Going for the deep wells or going for the, the massive water pumps or whatever when we don't have the resources to build them anyway. So we might as well take it uh, in a sort of logical... Excuse me? Oh, all of our... Right, all of our, our policies came in. Ah, oh, cool, okay. Um, one thing we might want to do as well. So, so comment section yesterday also said that the... It, it will eventually not just will we will we want the obviously the buildings bringing in the silver, but we might actually want to use it as a method of generating resources in the future. So the comments specifically said that when we get to that stage, we want to build um, for every one tithe settlement we have. So settlement providing resources, we'll need two settlements, basically churning out silver to be able to pay for that. And that way we'll be able to cut out the middleman here, and we'll just have settlements generate resources for us automatically. That's not going to cave in on him, is it? I should be able to be held up by that wall there. Um, so we'll focus on also trying to pull that off at some stage as well, trying to get the two tithe settlements coupled with the, um, coupled, uh, sorry, one, one tithe settlement coupled with two tax settlements. That way we can hopefully generate some resources automatically without having to worry about still doing the, because even the deep drilling, to be honest, isn't, uh, isn't the be all end all here, particularly when we don't have the resources to even kickstart. We don't have the steel to build the drills or the deep scanner right now. Fucking prison break, really? Ugh, all right. I mean, Pork is right there, so get him in position. Oh, we've also got a trade caravan kicking out outside. Oh, so you stay there, um, man this door, and then Pork, you stay there and man this door. I am, I am going to shoot these guys. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold back here. Bear in mind, these guys were, to be honest, basically useless. They, they, they haven't really got any skills. The only reason I was giving them was to ransom them out, or oh, well, she's dead as dicks. Was to hack them apart for resources or something like that. Well, that's a shame. All right, never mind then. Um, so everybody but Pork, let's go ahead and undraft them. And then, of course, we've also spent multiple episodes um, researching weapons, firearms, whatever else, which, again, we can't craft because we've got no damn steel. So that's the goal for today, anyway, is to, is to go ahead and deal with that as soon as possible. So some other feedback we got. What the hell is that thing? A Night Ram. Uh, Fighter of the Day, man. Let's go ahead and get Delta to trade with these guys, see what they've got then. Apparently, these Sky Eels that dropped from the sky yesterday are some of the best animals in the game. Um, or some of the best pets in the game because they constantly nuzzle, which will constantly keep our people in a good mood because you can just stack it up over and over and over. So we'll try and tame those guys as well. Um, so we've got, have we still got the kibble to do so? Bear in mind, our guys are quite busy. Yeah, we've got some, we've got some hay grass there as well. What does the Night Ram do? Uh, nothing. Doesn't provide anything from the looks of it. Doesn't do anything useful there, so I'm not going to bother about that one too much. Um, what have you guys got for me? 
Uh, they, what are they? They're a bulk goods trader? A war merchant. Oh, war merchant is pretty good. Means we can sell them all those crappy weapons we've got. They don't happen to have steel, do they? What we might want to do is sell them, uh, any stuff that we can't break down. So the wooden, the hammer, the limestone hammer. Keep all the other steel stuff and smelt that down back into resources. I might even go as far to buy their steel to smelt it down. It seems like a massive waste, but we're so desperate for it right now. And um, bear in mind, again, we've got our settlement generating all the silver, more silver than we can probably spend. So that we can turn into steel kind of a long way around. Uh, we'd obviously have to get, this, get the silver from the settlement, buy from traders, steal things to smelt down, or obviously directly steal, ideally, from bulk goods traders, things like that. I'll keep these jumpsuits in. I've also changed the bill as well, so that rather than her churning out X plus one, because if she makes the plus one, then someone will go and grab it, upgrade to so that gear, then the other one drop on the floor, then it'll unpause the thing, but yada, yada, yada. I've just set it to X per colonist, where X is one. Um, not, not plus any bonus ones there. What is that one? Luxurious good set black insect chitin overalls. Whoa. Look at that thing. Wow. 112% global learning factor, 80% global work speed. Oh, so it's like so work speed with that, though. Oh, because it's probably glitter tech stuff, I see. Um... But the 118% work speed, does that, sorry, does the 112% research speed stack with the work speed? So they don't cancel each other out. You still got a slightly, even doing research, it'll be slightly slower. Oh, that's not really as good as I thought then. The move speed is really good. So say, for example, you have a combat character, that's not too bad there. Um, especially for the, oh, minus 20% armor, bullet and sharp. No, it's not even good for that. Fuck it. Sell it off. Goodbye. That's, that's a lot of silver we can get from that one. The only other thing that they potentially have that I could be interested in is the woolly mammoths there. Honestly, that's all right. We'll just get some more silver out of them. That way, when we do get a bulk goods trader or something like that, we can buy just a shitload, by just a ridiculous amount of silver. Uh, sorry, steel. The other thing that was suggested as well, and I fully agree with this, was to build a wall around this one to prevent enemies. Because enemies could stand behind the, the sandbags there and shoot at us from the bottom kill box. To avoid that, we put this there. That will also, weirdly enough, act as a nice defense against rocket launcher enemies. We could specifically use this as a method of baiting out enemies with rocket launchers. If they're stood all the way down here and we have someone stood right there holding the door open, all we've got to do at that stage is wait for the rocket to fire, move them back, and hopefully... I very much doubt they're going to be accurate enough to miss the sandbags, miss the embrasures, miss the doors and the walls and go through. And even if they are at the angle they're attacking, and the majority of our people are lined up here, you can sort of see from the angle they're attacking, that's not going to hit anything important. Sure, it might hit whoever's holding the door open, but that's preferable to them standing down here and shooting at everybody. I think we can agree. So that was a good shout. So on the subject of the settlement then, what was the uh, policies that we implemented? So we've got a uh, company union. So we get one max worker, two other max workers. Um, so that, we should be able to put all three. Yeah, look at that. So we've got a soft cap of four. So four workers basically free there. And then obviously the money goes up after that, but up to a maximum of 11. Um, we get the 10% extra tax gain. So now we're making profit from these guys. Whoa. Really? 100, 1,116. One That's insane. Holy shit. And we still haven't got our last two workers added as well. 20% bonus to mining. Um, oh, look at that. They are absolutely printing money for us right now. 1,386 profit. That's insane. The cool thing about that then is they will pay for themselves in two more tides. They'll pay for not only the buildings that we built there, but <clears throat> the initial setup cost should also be covered by that too. So then we can go on to obviously use this one to fund other hamlets and, and whatever else we decide to build nearby. Uh, we can also go ahead and upgrade the town ourselves. Actually, we can do that now. 2,000 silver. Sure. Do it. I mean, that's fantastic. And how long until that one is updated? I really like the Empire's mod, by the way. Um, upgrading the settlement, it's been four days. Unexpected craftsmanship, so we've got 2.3 days of what bonus resources in, in crafting. Let's take a look at these building slots, and there's got to be something else. I know I wanted steel, but that's not really what I had in mind here. Thank you. Much appreciated, you absolute dick. What is wrong with you? On the plus side, though, it is enough to, I think, just about finish... Oh, shit. It is just about chance to... Uh, enough to finish our... Fucking really? Fucking really? You are an unbelievable man, and I hate you. All right. Uh, hit team. Squad up. Let's go Let's go and rescue this moron. Helotor's having a heart attack. What are you talking about? He's having a heart attack. Oh my god, the sky eels do electric shocks. Oh fuck. Uh Helotos having a heart attack in a field after being down by I had no what nobody told me they did electric shocks. Oh god. Okay. Um don't let it get too close then. Don't let it get too close. Hall ass, hall ass, running gun, running gun. They're really strong as well. What was the chance of that what was the chance of them attacking on fail tame? 
10%. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is quite risky then. We've already tamed one. Um, had I have known it would be this risky, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Uh, Rose, get out here. Get out here and help us out. There we go. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. No worries. News of war. Uh, the Broken Empire and Empire Sphere have become hostile to each other. Oh, shit. We're at war with them? Okay, interesting. Oh, I hope that's not a colony. They haven't just declared war on our, our colony, have they? Our faction colony. That would suck. Um, go rescue Halatos. We, should we give him some field tending? Because I feel like dragging him all the way back while he's still having a heart attack is probably not the best idea. Um, let's go medical. Oh, God, hang on. So that, that's still a prison, isn't it? So we should be able to rescue him, drop him there, give him some field tending. Um, so say doctor care. And then when he's tended, we'll take him back. Okay, treatment failed. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Treatment failed. Come on. Treatment failed. Come on. This time. Statistically, we're in a fucking... We're doomed. Oh, shit. A 28% chance that we failed at, what, seven times? Eight times? Nine times? Success. Thank fucking God. Very shocked. Yeah, me too. I didn't know that these eels were so deadly. Wait, wait Jimin. Oh, you have to treat it multiple times. Oh my god, wow. You're lucky you're not dead. I didn't realize you had to treat it that many times as well. He didn't actually lose much blood, so now the heart attack's dealt with, you should be fine. Oh, and taxes too. Cool. Um, so is that retroactive? Oh yeah, it's just the profit. Wow. I was thinking maybe this time it wouldn't give us very much profit because we've only just built the mining buildings and, the, and, and enacted the policies or whatever. But no, that is... That is uh, it, it does affect... Again, it is, it is retroactive there, so it does affect what we've already done. Okay, um... Brilliant. Uh, well, here's the, here's the plan. Don't fuck it up again. Otherwise, I don't know if we're going to be able to save you again, Chief. You got very, very lucky that time. We've got some ambrosia there. Give me that. Goblins. Goblins with sappers? Uh, how many are there? That's a lot of filthy little goblins. They're all using melee weaponry. Who picked up Halatos's gun? Wh who picked up Halatos's... Oh, re-equipping re it. Oh, we got put in the weapons locker. That's okay. Everyone, draft up. Defensive positions, not Halatos. Go grab your rifle. Oh, God. Um, that's a lot of filthy little goblins. Have we got some shells? We do. Uh, Delta on the mortar. And who else is good at... Okay, so it's you. Get on the mortar as well. People are saying artillery is much better. We will eventually build some more artillery. We actually did use that during the... Oh, you're firing immediately, huh? What the fuck are you aiming at? What the fuck are you aiming at? Brilliant. Well, that's all that trailer lesson. Fantastic. What are you talking about? Oh my god, that was where the enemy... I know exactly what that was. That's where the shells were from where the Empire attacked us. Okay, go ahead and go for a force target like... Like there. Lead a shot on that one, because we've got a good chance of hitting multiple ones with that. Good luck, good luck. Oh, Ragu? What, what do you mean? Well, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. Give, give me a fucking rifle. Good god. Just on the way, thought it deserved to be nuzzled, you fool. Um... Get yourself that service rifle. Come on. We need all the firepower we can get here because it's not looking promising. How long until those can fire again? 11 seconds. We're not even going to be able to fire, I don't think. 7, 6, 5, 4. Um, you guys, let's get you into position 1. I built specifically way too many doors than were necessary so that we could back off in, in the event of, like I said, rocket launchers. Okay, they're through. What are you doing? Is this really what you're doing right now? Trying to back through like that. That's insane. Um, do we hit any goblins at all? Absolutely not. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for wasting our time. Come down here. Much appreciated. Filthy little goblins. Uh, they're trying to sap through our embrasures. This is very strange. Uh, weapon warm up. Weapon warm up. Increase firing speed. Overheating can lead to detonation. Ah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to be doing that. Thank you. Um, wow, this is, this is a massacre. Honestly, I thought this was going to go a lot worse when I saw the amount of them, but the fact that they're doing... The world's worst tactics, although they have broken through, to be fair. Um, the tiny child seems to be in trouble. D robot, go home. Robot, go home. Okay, shoot that one. Thank you. Please give our people cover. They're all lining up one at a time. Um, okay, if you've got a melee weapon, you have no melee weapon. You've thrown your melee weapon on the floor, which is just phenomenal. Um, oh, no, you threw your melee weapon on the floor. Right, if you can get that one back for me. There we are, there we are, there we are. Let's swap those two out, because I don't really trust... Those guys fighting. You fuck off home as well, please. Oh, you... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. The goblins aren't very smart. They didn't bother chasing him through. How have they not retreated yet? This is nuts. Oh, that one has. Oh, now they're just starting to retreat. Unfortunately, they have decided to retreat through our base. This is very strange. Okay, um, 
Chase those filthy little goblins. Don't let them escape. They're going to smash down more of my damn walls otherwise. Payne, how are you doing? Go get yourself bed rested. Um, this may have to go back into being human medical beds, I'm afraid. Uh, as in, by, by human medical beds, I mean not for prisoners. And by for humans, I'm not obviously discriminating against... Against Sharamus or Pork. Smooth Octopus is actually down. Bleeding out in nine hours. Okay. Uh, Upsa, rescue Smooth Octopus. Uh, Rose. No, actually, Rose, undraft and rescue Smooth Octopus. That way she'll start on it straight away. I'll just let these guys fire off some more rounds at these goblins. Just incredible shots all around. Like, genuinely, you guys uh, don't quit your day job or anything. Good God. Well, there's another one down. Uh, we will make sure we strip these guys because they could have any sort of imbued armor. More importantly, they turn it with a load of steel gear. And that means we can... Oh, that's so good. Hang on. Um, make sure these guys are stripped then. Let's get to it. Uh, you guys just go about your business. You can go about your business. Um, these two I'm going to say search and destroy. Oh, we don't have that this time around. All right. I missed that mod. That was, that was a really great mod. Look at this. Infusements. That's what we're after. Get them all stripped. Do you want to capture some filthy little goblins? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This could be really good. This could be a lot of profit here. Boom. That's what I like to see. Leg Is that a legendary one? Boom. Strip this guy. Holy shit. I mean, it, look. Some of this armor actually might be good. But anyway, we've got mechanized armor axe. We might want to swap out to steel plate armor for raids. Man. Holy shit. Okay, get it get it all stripped. Get it all stripped. Then I'll check the goblins, see if any of them are actually worth recruiting as well. Okay, good stuff. Um, Let's get these ones stripped as well. Where is... uh? How, how long is this? You need to go to... What, what the hell are you doing? Go get yourself tended. Oh, we right, obviously had the hard set. My bad. Um... Right, you go ahead and get stripped, and then you go ahead and strip that one. We'll sort these boys out. What, what did they just they smash a hole in our wall, I assume? They're going to, anyway. Uh, let's, let's go through all these goblins and see if any are worth recruiting. Um, you are absolutely not. Kevin to interest psychopath. I'm basically going purely off their traits here, I'll be honest with you. Trigger happy fisherman, dislikes children, greedy. Uh, Gorman too smart, annoying voice. Iron willed is very good. Um... So we've got Tronk, Transhumanist, Depressive, Neurotic, Trigger Happy, Sexual Jogger, Gorman, Bloodless, Bisexual, but blood, Bloodless, obviously fantastic. Um, come on, Fascination, Two Shot. God, none of them have any good traits, to be honest. I mean, obviously, there, there are a few good traits here thrown around. You've got 11 Crafting. Parbrank has 11 Crafting. They're also a Masochist. Uh, pessimist is, is pretty bad, but if we get him in a good mood for long enough, we might be able to sort that out. Um, you've got Beautiful Goblin there. Uh, Optimist, Greedy. Oh, you've got 12 Cooking. You know what? Okay, here's the plan then. Strip and capture you. And then... Who, who's, who's healthy? Here, capture... Let's, let's wait a second. Oh, there's another one there. Underneath underneath that goat. Um, All these ones are crap. Let them die. I don't want to recruit, recruit too many goblins. Better on the difficulty is already going to be quite high because we've got so many regular characters kicking around here. Um, So you strip that one. You strip that one. And then those two that we're stripping now, we're going to capture. So you get captured. Oh, shit. Did I not turn that into a prison? Fool. Uh, right, for prisoners. There we are. So you capture him, and what's the chance of him bleeding out? Which should be fine. And then you bleed out in 11 hours. Nice work. Okay, strip. And, oh, look at all this legendary gear. And the amount of steel. This, honestly, might have been the ultimate raid for us. Bear in mind that we lack... Fuck me. Ah, come on. Bear in mind that we lack this much steel. That's going to bring a huge amount into the base. That's insane. Um, Helotos, you are all right now, aren't you? Let's go ahead and get this person stripped too. Fucking what? Cleaning bot too. Thank you, Cleaning Bot 2. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. I actually tried to clean the doors that they were smashing down. Brilliant. <laughs> what a fool. I think our people are fine. Uh, yeah, great 10 quality across the board there. Um, Upset, where are you right now? Someone just walked past. Who was that? Uh, Upset, yeah, it was Upset. Let's get you to capture this guy then. Try to arrest him or prioritize taking him to bed. That's what I meant to do. Let's get him taken over to the new prison. Come with me if you want to live. And let's tend to these goblins. How are we looking? Six hours. 16 hours. Okay, that one goblin is okay. Halitos, we need to set you back before I forget here to best quality medicine. Thank you, Upsa. Those guys with their recall armor, they're, they're going to be the ones that have to deal with uh, a lot of our prisoners. And again, the reason I've used so much steel on these doors, I know, we're, okay, haha, he's missing a load of steel and has built a shitload of doors. reason I've done that is specifically to ensure that for prison breaks, we're ready and able to go because they are very, very far away from the main base. When we've got people sleeping all the way over here, it's going to take a very, very, very long time to get down there. The more doors they have to smash, and the reason I've done 2x2 two two as well, they'll smash down the doors. They don't give a fuck. So they'll spend half the time smashing that one, half the time smashing that one because it's twice as long to get over there. It's a big spear. Think of it as an investment rather than a waste of steel. Anyway, let's get all this crap healed and let's get all these dirty little goblin corpses out of there as soon as possible. Taxes have been delivered. Hey, nice. Okay. Money printer. Money printer goes brr. Where is that? Uh, 1,386. 
Very nice. Okay, I can already see how how this is going to get out of hand, depending on how we set it up. Is there any downside to me just building a shitload of settlements identical to this? Is, is there any downside to that? Uh, I mean, I don't know if they can get raided or attacked or anything, so that'd be interesting to know. Um, 2.7 days before it's upgraded, and I think there's going to be never a time where sticking... Oh, God, what the hell did he just build? A masterwork wooden double bed. Oh, to replace one that was destroyed. Got it. Um, I don't think there's ever going to be a time where not placing workers in a thing will cause us less profit. So empty buildings, then. Let's see what we can get in regards to that, because we're missing four building slots. Oh, sorry, three building slots here. Uh, any that let us have more workers is, is absolutely fine. Or any that give extra tax probably wouldn't hurt either. Um, so combat efficiency, obviously, quarry. I'd love to build more of those, but unfortunately not. Two max workers, absolutely. Migrant housing, get it built. And then in this one as well. So we've got the migrant worker. Um... So it might take me a while to look through. Training post gives tithe modifier. So we, we need a tithe settlement as well just for producing resources. That would be very nice. Um, you've got a training post that gives the tithe modifier. Barracks, I uh, can assume, is probably worthless. Um, wilderness guilds, what does that do? 25 animal production. Public market gives tithe modifier again. Venture guild, 5% um, base tax. Minus 15% production to food, weapons, and apparel. We're not doing that, so who cares? 5% base tax for that one. Um, and we get some military from it as well. It's like the Adventurers Guild. Got it. 20% food. Force work camps gives two max workers, but 0.5 unrest a day. So we get two more workers for that. Um, which obviously give way more than just 5% tax. Two workers, then we'd have to build something to cancel it out as well. So what can we build to cancel out the it's 0.5 and 25% unrest? Um, maybe something like uh, the entertainment. Where was that? Uh, adult Entertainment Center. Plus five base happiness. Okay, so as long as we build this one first, that should cancel it out, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and put that down. And then this one we were going to build the... Uh, whatever it's called, Force Work Camps. So 0 0.5 unrest per day, but we're going to cancel that out with the Adult Entertainment Center. Oh, it's happiness. Sorry, uh, happiness and unrest, different things. Bollocks. Um, I might have made a mistake there. Um, unrest. Is that a jailhouse that deals with unrest? It's minus 25% unrest gain, but I need to deal with actual ticking unrest, don't I? Okay, that's not... It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and stick down... I mean, the Adventures Guild had no negative, but it only gives... It gives another 5% tax and plus one military level. I need to deal with the... So we've got the adult thing coming in. In-house Merc Company gives tax. Let me read all these through. It's going to take a while to obviously do it on the on the episode. So there actually isn't a building, from what I can see, that deals with the ticking unrest gain. I guess you just have to try and suppress it as much as possible. In that case, um, can I cancel producing that one? That would be kind of nice. Instead, we go through the rooms on Warehouse gives plus 5%. Or again, the um, Adventurers Guild in this situation would be better. Because not only is it cheaper, but it gives the same base tax without the risk. Or we go for the risky aspects and build the migrant housing. Uh, sorry, not the migrant housing, the um, the forced work camps, which gives the additional unrest. Um, do we want to upset the apple cart like that? We've got a good thing going here. Or we have to never touch this again and we just get 1,300 god every five days, whatever it is. I don't think it's worth upsetting the apple cart like that. So instead, I'm just going to build the Adventurers Guild and say that we're done with it. Oh, what's the Adventurers Guild, right? Yeah, 5% base tax, that's it. Let's go for the Adventurous Guild then. A lot of you have also asked me to expand the cloth processing, which I think is a good idea. Um, I'm not going to use any of our soil for it, any of our like uh, f fertility space soil, what they call biosolids, that's it. I'm not going to use any of our biosolids on that, but I will use all of the fertile zones we've got here to maximize that. So let's go, I don't want to make it too large because we don't want to spend forever on this. Let's get some cloth production going again, because not only did that provide us a good profit during the early game, it's getting up to the stage now where it's going to start becoming relevant again with the new furnitures and whatnot. Um, we've got rice here. I might swap this rice out for something else. Something to give a bit of ingredient variety, because that's one, one of the mods relies on that, doesn't it? Um, cucumbers. Delicious, sweet, and grow still pickles. Uh, eaten raw, but who does that? Prefers warm... What? Who eats raw cucumbers? What are you talking about? Uh... I, I don't know why this is a UK thing, but most cucumbers in the UK are eaten raw. Can we eat, pr prefer, can be eaten raw, but who does that? Literally, like, every cucumber I've eaten in my life has been eaten raw. That's, that's madness. I, that's insane to think that anyway. How do you c cook, like, the idea of cooking a cucumber is fucking disgusting. Anyway, um, cabbage plant, corn plants, uh, cabbage plant grow in a disgustingly short period of time. 0 0.8 days, what the fuck? That's... 
faster than rice? Um, what? Uh, what's this nutrition? 0 0.1. Oh, so it's like way less nutritious. But the fact that it grows... But look at the nutrition per days. It's like 0 0.10. So in the same amount of time, for almost half the time, I don't know, it takes 1.6 days. For, the, for almost half the time, you can get more nutrition than rice in, instead for making cabbage. But obviously cabbage is not affected by fertility, so we probably don't want to dump it over here so much. Now our migrant housing is finished, so we can dump a few more. Holy shit, 1,755 is nuts. My god. And then 110% base tax, of course, that'll go up by another 5%. Yeah, this is, um... This is pretty profitable. Yeah, I, I can deal with that. That's, that's absolutely insane. Uh, I kind of notice we're putting all the milk... Maybe, maybe don't allow milk in there. Um, let's go ahead and remove that. No milk. I'd rather them instead just gave them vegetarian products now it's on the on the subject of vegetarian products i have made it so this will grow corn instead of rice corn is also 100 percent fertility uh fertility sensitivity i should say the downside to having this rice although it's growing ridiculously fast and giving us a shitload of food it's growing too fast in the extent that, that uh, all of our people's days are taken up by this now because we've got you know they turn their back and then the rice is growing they have to get out there and do it and if we plan on Starting a large-scale cotton plant, we just need more time. There's not enough time in a day. There's not enough people harvesting crops in a day to be able to cover that. On the subject of that, I've also given all of them hatchets again, too, alongside their other weapons. So, like, these kids have got um, the hammers plus the hatchets. I'd like a few more hatchets, if possible. Uh, I don't think we have any others, though. We've got axes. We've got... No, we don't. All of this stuff needs to smelt down as soon as possible, but smelt comes below... Kind of reasonably, I think, smelt comes below plant work, especially when we've got a bloody base this size, but it's going to take a long time to get all this stuff sorted out. Holy shit, another raid. Man, that's crazy. Another one this soon as well. Uh, the grandmother of Collis. It's his corporate slasher dahlia. Okay. Um, it's only five of them. That's not too bad. Oh, wait. Blue Moon Corporation. Why the fuck are these guys so... What is that? A pain stick? What is that thing? A, a space tech glittering bullet storm? Holy shit. Okay, uh... No fucking around this time, then. Hunting horse rifle. Oh, shit. Um, to positions, everybody. Haha, <laughs> we've got some guests in there. Very, very heavily armed. Oh, Christ, they're already here. That was fast. Um, what are you throwing there, huh? What you got there? Smoke grenades? No, please don't throw that. Smooth Octopus doesn't have a weapon. Oh, Smooth Octopus. Oh, you fool. Uh, light SMG. There it is. Go and grab that. Uh, are these smoke grenades gonna benefit us, though, if they're throwing them at us, surely? Okay, we need people to move. We already need people over on the second second kill box. Get in there. Um, where is everybody? Pain and loathing are on their way over still. Uh, just get into position. Just just find a, find a place and stand there. Get out of there. Delta, get out of there. Delta, get out of there. Thank you. Delta, whenever you're ready. <laughs> whenever you're ready, thank you. Okay. Let's see how it goes then. This is going to be it's gonna be interesting, I think. Now we pray that our kill box design is good enough to stop this shit. I'm going to turn the corner and fight my man Sharamus too. So you are in for a you're in for a world of pain. Sharamus. Sharamus hold the line. Okay. Um is everybody here? Everybody but Smooth Octopus who's relying on their is trying to get the gun still. Uh is everybody here? Uh yeah, it's everybody. Holy shit, man. Good luck. Um we need to focus fire on one person at a time. Take out D D Dahlia. Kill her. Kill her dead. Oh fuck, this is a problem. Oh, well, this is a serious issue that we've got going on right now. Um, kill Ariel, because she does not seem armored. Take her down, and we might be... Sharamus is down. Fuck, they're in the base. They're in the base. They're in the base. They're in the base. They're in the base, and I don't know how to stop this. Kidnap who they can and leave. We're kidnapping Sharamus. Okay. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully on the way out, we can do that. That's not kidnapping who you can and leave. That's attacking Helitos. These people are way too armored. We're not even- we're not even damaging them. This is absolutely fucking nuts. Um... I don't think we're gonna be able to stop them getting Sharamus here, I hate to say it. Get into position. Uh... well we not one of them down. We got a good gun- oh, we've not two of them down. We've got ourselves some power armor. Hallingbot is dead. Long live Hallingbot. Sharamus, we will save you. We will save you. Do not- do not have fear, my friend. Shoot. Kill them. Knock him down. Save our boy. Loathing with the shotgun. Nothing. Come on, come on, come on. It's one person. We can't break their armor. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Okay, they're down, they're down, they're down. As long as we can save Sharamus now. Actually, it's only conditions need tending. Come on, can we knock another one? If we knock another one, that's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor coming our way. Incredible raid. Incredible raid. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
Undraft. Bear with me here. Strip them immediately. Strip. 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 Oh, we got charge rifles. Holy shit. Wow, that was a bit hit and miss, wasn't it? My god. Um, get all of them stripped immediately. Hauling bot died, but that's okay. Holy fuck. Did we kill all of them? I think we knocked all of them down. Oh, no, no, no. The three are escaping towards the north. Uh, let them run. Are they the ones without the power armor? Okay, just Squirt is the only one left. We could go for them, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, right. Oh, business as usual, really. Rose, rescue Sharamus. Uh, I think, honestly, Sharamus is the least damage of our people. In fact, nobody's bleeding out. Oh, Halitos is. Uh, Halitos rest. Um, everyone else get to stripping. Get to stripping, and then we'll check what gear is worth, uh, is, uh, sorry, see what characters are worth taking. Holy shit, that's a lot of power armor we've just picked up. And suddenly our mechanized armor acts become relevant. <laughs> if only we had some steel to build them with, huh? We might have to tithe the next, uh, the next tax. Alright, to business, team. Oh. <laughs> oh, the power armor. Oh, the power. Okay, here we go. Um, right, okay, I'll let you deal with... What happened to Rose? Oh, did I accidentally sent rescue Sharamus? Um, oh, shit. Exotic marine armor. Gives research speed. Uh, we've got gorse launchers. We've gone from having one of our top characters with two flintlock pistols to endgame weaponry. I guess it's not really that endgame weaponry, but it's very good. Jesus, look at this. Look at it. We've got charge lances. Oh, it's bio-coded, though. I didn't think about that. So some of the weapons might be unusable, which one will smelt them down. Fantastic work. Um, okay, they, the enemies have escaped. I was going to say, if we've got enough time, I'll go and go and hunt them down, see if we can grab what's left. Did you steal Sharamus' sword? You did steal Sharamus' sword. You prick. Well, we got something better. So I'm not really too concerned about that. Let's patch this hole in the wall. Wow. That was insane. So let's see if anybody's worth capturing, then. Um, have you got, like, acidifiers? They've got combat boosters, sight and movement. Whoa. Underground and abrasive straight greedy. Fast learner. Nimble. Okay. Eugene, you're on my list. Um, any, anybody. I mean, all the combat boosters are fantastic. Misandrist. Night owl. Bisexual kind. Eh, doesn't really cancel out Misandrist, though, does it? Greedy, I'm not interested in at all. They're such a ball like. Um, too smart bisexual. Jogger is good. I don't know if it's that. If it's good enough to determine. I mean, pessimist, zealous. You're crap. Um. I think I'll capture the Jogger, who I think was Dahlia, right? She's got good construction. Actually, I should look at their skills as well, rather than just their their traits. Granted that things are so sort of transitive right now, it doesn't really matter either way. You've got good mining, but that alone does not a character, mate. You've got good artistic. Oh. I mean, artistic, hang on, because of the new, uh, the, the, the new artistic thing, right? Oh, but they're not, they don't have the actual trait that gives them the, you know, the thing where artists go on mental break, they have a higher chance of producing better work. They obviously don't have the trait that, that produces that. Um, fast learner, nimble. Yeah. Oh, it's social tent, intellectual tent. Eugene, welcome aboard. Um, smooth octopus, you alright? Where are you? Uh, who's quite close? Delta's quite close. Ups is quite close. You're just eating a meal. Capture Eugene. Everyone else? Throw him to the pigs, Errol. Oh, god, the stockpile. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, that's a lot of shit. We've got a lot of armor. To, I'm, I'm going to smelt down all the plate armor, I think, now that we've got enough marine armor to cover most of our people here. However, again, we don't have the mechanized armor axe active yet. So we need to smelt down enough plate armor to build enough mechanized armor axe to make either a other plate armor or the uh, or the marine armor active in the first place. So we'll go ahead and work on that. Unfortunately, the charge lance was bio-coded, but besides that, everything else seems pretty good. So we've got glitter and bullet storm. We've got the glitter tech charge rifle, the gorse lance. Uh, is that in terms of weapons? Oh, we got that pain stick as well. What does that even do? Melee damage per second 7.57. I guess that's better if we want to take prisoners. Um, well, I mean, in the subject of taking prisoners, we've got a lot of fucking prisoners now, too. Got a lot of goblins. And all these people are worth recruiting as well, because obviously we've been quite picky about them. We've got a money printer set up. We've got a load of extra gear, a load of armor. I think this has been an absolute success in terms of, uh, in terms of progress for the colony. Downside is, of course, we still have... No steel. So what we'll do is we'll try and save up enough of our... We'll try and save up enough of our tithes... Uh, sorry, taxes to be able to afford a tithe. So that's what I still will go to from now on. Thank you to the Insane Top Tier Level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A shout out goes out to Alex, Michael Mullen, Crow Skull, Northern Bear, Justin Wallace, The One Ring, James Shade, Facundo Vasquez, Asana Kirito, Skaz, Chesty, Atmosis, Alchemia, Vacuous Backer, Scary Scurvy, Rodin, Pavis Presley, Harik, Odie, Limpy George, and everyone else at the insane tier level patrons. 
as well. Thank you guys for your support over there. And a thank you as well to Layla, Rob Girth, Ben Taylor, William H, Anchor, Jackson, Jessica Smith, Matteo, Alex Bogard, Hoopalia, Walkouts, Better Valerian, Asaro, Wilson Atef, and Jaden as well for their support. See you guys tomorrow.